Archaeologists in Japan have just uncovered a lost piece of history that they are hailing as the greatest discovery of the century in Japan. The discovery of the ruins of a castle built by a feared Japanese warrior leader. Can you say warlord? Anyway, this discovery has sparked widespread jubilation because this guy is regarded as one of the most powerful individuals to ever influence the Japanese people ever and widely regarded as the second great unifier of the Japanese people. A samurai by family lineage who began a state of empire by controlling parts of Korea with only the combined might of China and Korea to keep the explosion of Japanese interest at bay. The second great unifier of Japan never reached the sworn title of Shogun. Shogun is the title of the military ruler of Japan as appointed by the emperor and therefore the de facto ruler as it were. Instead, he would adopt a series of high-ranking roles and in doing so, he probably bettered his interests with both the people and the elite and this is reflected when, for example, he hosted the emperor in his palace in the year 1587 as the imperial regent to the empire. This was a direct adversary role and the ability to influence is very apparent within this position at various levels of order from the highest level through military ranks and even banishing the Christian missions in 1587. References do exist to prove the existence of a great castle structure, most notably from court nobles, but until now it seems no solid physical proof of its existence has ever been recovered. On May 12, the Kyoto City Archaeological Research Institute announced the discovery of remnants of a castle wall and moat within the grounds of what now constitutes the Kyoto Imperial Palace. The castle is believed to have been completed a year before Hideyoshi's death, and diaries of court nobles of the time only refer to the structure as Hideyoshi's Palace without giving it a formal name. The site is located in the southeastern section of the Kyoto Imperial Palace and covers about 32 hectares. Hideyoshi resided at the palace when his son and successor received his court rank. Remnants of the walls and moat were found under the foundation of the Kyoto Shinto Imperial Palace, which is where emperors resided after abdication. One section of the castle wall, constructed in a north-south direction, measures about 8 meters in length, and the wall measures 1.6 meters high in places and was comprised of 3 to 4 stone layers. Although the upper portion had collapsed, the wall in its prime was likely around 3 meters high. The techniques used to construct the castle wall likely date to 1568. Based on the careful manner in which blocks of stone were placed and researchers have theorized that the moat was originally at least 3 meters wide and 3 meters deep. Stones that had fallen from the castle wall as well as gold plated roof tiles that bore the family crest of the family were also discovered in the filled in moat. A professor specializing in the history of castle building at the University of Shiga Prefecture said, Historical references to a place had led most experts to believe the structure was only a residence surrounded by a wall, but that the discovery of remnants of a castle wall as well as gold-plated roof tiles indicated a magnificent building stood here and that this is the greatest discovery this century related to an excavation of a Japanese castle. Hideyoshi died here in 1598 and in the 1600s, the castle walls, gates and other parts were destroyed before the construction of Kyoto Shinto Imperial Palace in 1627, which completely covered the remnants of the castle only to be rediscovered in 2020, much to the delight of researchers in Japan who have rightly hailed this a great discovery that confirms a past narrative. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching. Hey guys, this is Buzz Weaver, the voice of the Lost History Channel. I wanted to take a moment and thank all of you guys for your continued support of the channel. Your likes, shares, and comments are greatly appreciated. And I just wanted to take a moment and remind some of you or even introduce to many of you who may be new here that I have my own channel where I do reviews, how-tos, gaming, and current events. If you guys want to swing by and check out my channel, I would appreciate your guys' support there as well.